There he is. What's up? What's going on? <laughs> You're the fastest one to ever hop on IG Live. You get the common thing. We connected Look, right we're, away. We're quarantining right now. It ain't much else to do. <laughs> okay, so tell me where you are. I'm in uh, Texas right now. Mm -hmm. I'm in Texas at the house with my family. Who are you quarantining? I haven't been on Instagram Live in forever. No? Nothing? <laughs> yeah. Welcome back. We needed yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Who is quarantining with you in the house? Uh, I got my, my, my parents, my brother, and my sister. So we just been over here just trying to stay out of the way, you know? Mm-hmm. What is that like? Like, are you playing board games? Like, how are you staying busy? What's entertaining I mean, to the Hertz household? You know, you got different people waking up at different times of the day. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, we, you know, I, I eat a lot of crawfish. We eat okay. a lot of crawfish down here. Mm -hmm. uh, be eating a lot of crawfish, eating good, working out. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, it's, it's like a fine line, you know. Mm -hmm. you, you really don't know, you know what I'm saying, what's what. And so just trying to be safe, um, keep everybody safe and stay out of the way. You mentioned the workouts. Okay, so what do the workouts look like at home? Do you have weights or something? Yeah, so, like, I actually have a weight room. Like do you? Weight room. Something slight, you know. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know what I'm saying, it ain't, like, big time or whatever. But it's the same weight room I, um, I used when I, as I grew up. Mm -hmm. So, uh you know what I'm saying? I improvise, do whatever. Um, my, my dad's a coach, so I'm always able to, um, you know what I'm saying, go to the high school field, use the field and throw, do whatever. So um, making the most of it. Is the weight room right there? You know I want to see it. I want to see yes. Jalen Hurts' high school weight room. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I mean, everybody use my mom's in here. Uh-huh. Let's see. I, I can fucking flip it. Let's yeah, see. So we, we just yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got our crawfish pots right there, my little dog, <laughs> Zeus. But yeah, got the little speaker over there, put some music on, you know. But, so how long has that weight room been there? Oh, I've, it's been here forever. Um, you know what I'm saying? I remember, you know, it's funny, I actually say this. You know how you see family in the house, they'll quit. You know what I'm saying? The growth of their kids and stuff. <laughs> So, like, basically, they have measured us off, like, every so often or whatever it was. So. That's so cool. Okay, so point to it. I see uh, 10 years. This is me when I was 15. I haven't measured since. <laughs> <laughs> so. Have you grown at all since you were 15? Oh, I, I have. I have. <laughs> That's really cool. I think that brings up a good um, story arc for you. And just kind of, like, growing up as a coach's son, Walk me through what football's meant to you basically your entire life. Like, as long as you've been alive, it's been a part of your life. Yeah, I think um, I hold a lot of value in it. You know, um, coming up the way I did, being around the game so much, and um, having an older brother I can look up to um, and, and watch, um, learn from. You know, I, I was always that little kid, you know, doing summer workouts. I'm in the middle of everything. I'm doing everything. And, you know, I'm hanging with them, you know what I'm saying? And just to see that growth. Um, Really, really learning from all those other guys when I was a kid, you know, they, they didn't probably think I was watching or paying attention, but I was, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, it's a lot of support from those guys, a lot of support from the community and all that. So I'm mean, just working every day, um, trying to be the best best I can be. What was your dad like on the sidelines? What was being coached he, up he by was him still, like? You know, he, he, he treated us all the same. You know, you, you, you get some coaches' kids and coach and dad relationships where, um, where it's kind of tough and it's, you know, strict and stern and all that. And I, th I think he held us all to a standard, you know, and he all wanted us to, um, you know what I'm saying, do the right thing, you know what I'm saying, go out there, handle our business um, in the classroom and on the field. So, um, he, I mean, he cool. He cool with me. He mm -hmm. all right, <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Papa and Mama Hurts. Yes, yeah, my favorite. <laughs> So then comes the idea of college, obviously. And you had, obviously, the most interesting story. I remember talking to you when you were first headed over to Oklahoma, and you're just like, like the story hasn't been finished. You know, you're still writing yeah. your story. What part of the story did you write while you were a senior? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not a um, – it, it's hard for me to reflect on stuff. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I get to ask these questions all the time. And I'm always looking forward, trying to see what's next. But – um, going to Oklahoma, man, be, being at one of the best schools in the country, you know, best coach, one of the best coaches, and um, the history they have and, and all that they do, um, 
they're well respected. They they win, you know. Mm -hmm. And to be a part of that, to um, put my name in the air of you know the great quarterbacks of Oklahoma, I think that was special. And I think the goal there was to go, um, you know, you know, be a part of a, a championship team. Um, and mm -hmm. I think we came up short in the end, but ultimately we had a successful year, and um, that's a testament to to the group we had and the work we put in. Mm -hmm. And a testament to you is that I don't know anyone else who, if you transfer, like all the fans still love you. Like Alabama fans are still like Jalen Hurts. Yeah. <laughs> Oklahoma fans love you. And you won a championship in some way, shape, or form every single year of your career. Didn't matter where you were. You've had four different offensive coordinators. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, you, you got Coach Sark for that national championship game. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had a, I've had a lot. Um, yeah. And I think it's a good thing. I think it's a positive. You know, me being able to be a part of so many different minds, learn from so many different people. Um, it's done nothing but help me, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just looking forward to, um, you know what I'm saying, applying everything that I've learned thus far um, into, into the next level. Give me what you learned at Alabama. Um, I mean, it, you, you got so many different approaches, you know, Coach Saban and how he handles stuff. I think his mindset, his approach, um, his approach to ball, his, his, his competitive nature, that's why I went there. Um, that's that's why I decided to go to our high school. Um, kind of very similar. We we're, were very similar in, in that way. Mm -hmm. um, and I think just being around Coach Kiffin and Coach Dable, Coach Sark, Coach Enos, and Coach Locks at Alabama, they all had a little piece, you know, that 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 was able to help me and, and propel me as a player. And um, you know, basically when I went to Oklahoma, it's kind of opportunity for me to showcase what I had learned, along with learning so much more, and you know, the approach that Coach Riley had. So I mean, it's, it's been a it's been a um, it's been a hell of a journey. Mm -hmm. And the next stop, obviously, is the pros. So yeah. what have has the process looked like for you? It's a little different. It's virtual. What have those meetings been like? The way that you're able to present yourself to organizations, to coaches, describe that for me. Yeah. So I kind of you know I kind of just um, get on Zoom. Um, <laughs> we'll FaceTime. You know, you have different things. You know, they set it up differently for for each team. Um, but, you know, regular conversation. Um, a lot of the teams I've talked to um, already in some way, uh, shape, or form. But, um, you know, just be on, going on there, you know, being myself, answering questions, and, and just talking. Um, it, it's real cool to, I think, get on these meetings, get in these meetings and learn, you know, because you have your opportunities where you talk S's and O's, you talk about certain things, whatever it is. And for me, I'm always about learning, you know what I'm saying, growing. So even when I go through, you know what I'm saying, to the receivers I have um, out here in Houston or um, I'm doing certain things on the field, I'm able to apply those things I learned from these coaches mm -hmm. on the field and most of the workouts I do. So it's, it's all cool for me. It kind of changed me mentally, you know. Sure. What is it that you want the organizations to know about Jalen Hurts or the player, the person that they would get? Um, a, a true competitor, a leader. Um, a dog, you know, uh, I mean, uh, a guy that, that's going to go out there and try to win ball games, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I think um, it's kind of, I mean, everything's kind of been so public with me. Yeah. Feels like everybody knows, you know, the whole entire journey, journey or whatever. But for me, um, I just want to continue to grow, uh, continue to grow, take steps, and, um, you know, be the best I can be. Mm hmm I saw something on one of your Instagram posts that I like. I just have to read it back to you. You said you're not proving anybody wrong, just proving yourself right. Yeah, yeah. What does that mean? Um, it, it, that's, I mean, that, that's what it is. Um, you know, you got a lot of people out there. And I think generally, um, you know, you, you, you can't get caught up in, you know, all the external factors, right? You got to focus on what you can control um, and go out there and get it. Be the best version of yourself and, um, you know, trust, trust your preparation, trust all of that, and go get it. What's the greatest criticism you hear about yourself? Um, I don't know. I, I'm my biggest critic. Um, mm -hmm. So I, the biggest thing is just keep going, you know, keep going. You know what I'm saying? Even in a time like this, right, un unprecedented time, mm -hmm. you know, the world, um, it's, in a, it's in a crazy place right now. You know, this is all different, but. Um, knowing that, that God has a plan all the time, it'll all work out in the end. Mm -hmm. So just trusting that, keeping faith. What is it going to feel like when you hear your phone ring on draft night? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I, I, I've been fortunate enough. I, I got my good friend, A.J. Brown, uh, being around him for his draft day. 
um, and kind of experiencing it, seeing how it is, and seeing how he reacted, you know. And I mean, it, it's just a real moment. I can imagine um, all the hard work you put in, and um, kind of like a dream, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it. Do you have like two phones? Like, what's the plan? Do you have a landline? Mom <laughs> have a phone. Dad have a phone. They have. They have. <laughs> They have my line, so uh, <laughs> whoever it is that calls, they'll call and um, it'll ring. Mm -hmm. so my, my ring tone will play, and we'll we'll go from there. So, what is the draft plan now, as compared to what you kind of thought it would look like before? Obviously, since everything has kind of changed. Yeah, for me, um, I don't. I honestly don't know if I would have went anyways. Um, I, I felt like this is a, a thing where um, I'd, I'd rather be with my family. You know, I mentioned that crawfish earlier. We're going to probably have some crawfish going, you know, put your corn, all that potatoes. I'm a country boy, so uh, do all that and, and just enjoy the moment, have a have good time, you know, with the family and, of course, be safe, but, um, you know, enjoy the moment. Yeah. Do you dress up? I don't know. <laughs> I ain't thought about it, you know. It's not like I can go to the mall or mm -hmm. get something, so... Um, We'll have to see. You can see the rare breed, rare breed sweatshirt. <laughs> I don't, I don't have one of those yet. <laughs> I, got, um, I gotta get one. I saw a lot of video of you. I think you're working in Atlanta a little bit, um, and all the different workouts that you've been doing. What have you been trying to perfect in your game, or what have you been working on the most? Um, just really, I think um, I just want to continue to take steps and um, process and stuff, and. and and kind of, I think the biggest thing is playing, playing quarterback is being decisive and having answers and knowing what you're doing. Um, so a lot of that goes into, you know, whatever situation I fall in. But mm -hmm. ultimately, you know, just, just, just seeking knowledge. I think that's the biggest thing for me. Um, growing, learning, um, surrounding myself around the right people to take that growth. As the you seek knowledge, who are the QBs you've looked up to growing up? Or maybe guys that have a similar game to you, et cetera? Yeah, um, no, I've always had a thing with Steve McNair. I always talk about Steve McNair. Um, Alcorn State, you know, mm -hmm. played, played with the Titans, and even in Houston for a little bit. But, I mean, the type of player he was, he was a dog, um, you know, could run, could make all the plays, kind of had ill advised plays um, where he just made something out of nothing, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I got. I, I I like the way he plays. Um, I I like Russell Wilson. I think um, you know he he was overlooked, um, and coming out and um, he's a baller, won Super Bowls and um, had a lot of success. And Deshaun Watson, I think that's a guy where I mean he <laughs> played against him, you know, um, but he he's an impressive player, impressive guy. I um, got a lot of respect for him too in the way he plays. Mm -hmm. You said it. Russell Wilson was overlooked. Do you ever feel overlooked in this draft? You know, it, it happens, you know, um, that's not something I can control. I just control what I can. One thing I do know is I, I always work hard, um, you know, trust myself and, and go to work. Mm -hmm. Well, it's worked for you so far, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Alabama, Oklahoma, NFL draft. I mean, all of these things have been working in your favor. What do you think is the one thing that has allowed you to make it this far? Because it doesn't work for everyone. Or some people could right. lose heart with some of the things that you've been through. Um. I just think always, you know, trust in the process, trust in myself and keeping faith. I think those are the, um, the, the three essential things that have helped me. Um, and, you know, I remember I remember, I don't know, it was like the middle of my junior year. I tweeted out um, the scripture, John 13, 7, and I've kind of held it with me ever since then. You know, you may not know now, but later you understand. And mm -hmm. just replied and said that. And, like, just, just looking back on, on everything and, you know, how the journey has kind of unfolded. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's been crazy, you know. Mm -hmm. I remember coming out of high school um, and coming out of high school and and going to uh, take a visit um, at Mississippi State, you know. Mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm sitting there like, wow, I'm with Dak Prescott. You know what I'm saying? He highs my finalist, all this, you know what I'm saying? Hell of a player. And then turn around my senior year and I'm, I'm a runner-up and doing all that, so... It's, it's been a, a hell of a journey, but um, just just looking forward to seeing what's next, and, and I'm always continue to work. Mm -hmm. You don't care at all where you end up, do you? I can't control it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't control it.
<laughs> it all happened. It all happened for a reason, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I've got something to add to the cool things that you've been able to accomplish. I don't know if you know this, but every now and then Marvel makes comic covers. Mm. Um, so they take a vintage cover and they design it to something that's current. And usually it's a mascot or a, we've had them do a matchup before when we start like preseason or whatever. But for the first time ever, they're just doing players by themselves. And you're one of the five players that they picked. Uh-oh. So I wanted to show you your cover. <laughs> if you okay, what what um superhero do you think you are? First of all, uh, <laughs> show me. Okay. You ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. You okay. are Thor. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's, man, that's pretty dope, right? It is. That's that's cool right there. <laughs> Thor, Thor got some uh, stuff to him. Mm-hmm. So I guess I guess your hammer's the football, right? I guess so. The hammer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got the little fade. I ain't, look, he got a haircut. He does have, have a haircut. You couldn't haircut. have a haircut. <laughs> I don't have it right now. <laughs> well, I just think it was cool that they did that. And honestly, to go through some of the things you've been through, you might have some kind of superpowers. But what is the one thing that, before I let you go, you would want everyone to know? about Jalen Hurts as we enter into the draft next week? You know, I'm a, I'm a God-fearing man. Um, I, uh, everything happens for a reason. Really encouraging guy. And, uh, you know, I love ball. I love it. Um, you know, and uh, I'm, just, I'm just ready for, for all of this stuff to be over with, honestly. Mm-hmm. Ready to see the, to, the, see the world in a better place. And, um, see a safe world out there, you know. It's mm-hmm. kind of sad to see all this stuff going down, you know, because sometimes you, I can't see my family. I can't see, you know what I'm saying, my grandmother like I want to see all these people. So, um, yeah, I'm just praying for better times, you know. Is that a part of keeping her safe? Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. You know what I'm saying? I, I know I work out. Um, I worked out with a couple guys. Um I'm around certain people, so I don't want to put anybody else in danger. So I kind of isolate myself. Mm-hmm. I'm just to be safe. So it's a lot of things you got to consider during this time, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, just being safe about it all, and uh, at the same time, continue to put those daily dep- deposits in. Mm-hmm. Well, shout out to uh, Grandma Hurts too, and I know <laughs> that she's gonna be proud of you whenever the phone rings for you. We're gonna send her this. Her name is uh, Miss Dugard. Cause she Miss Dugard. <laughs> What's up, Miss Dugard? I don't want her mad at me. <laughs> nah, she, I, I let her know. Okay, good. She probably FaceTime me today. <laughs> well, Jalen, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for showing us the gym. I think you need to measure yourself one more time. Get the current height up there. I might have to on the 23rd. How about that? How about do that? Please do a video yeah. of that, okay? That'd be cool. <laughs> thanks for your time and have fun next week, okay? Okay. We'll All do. Right. Be safe. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.